Thank you. Hello, Rob and Zoe. Hey. Hello. Can you hear me? <coughs> Can hear. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Uh, okay, let's start. Um, Robert and Zoe, uh, this question is for you both. So, do you feel any pressure here when you play uh, for this role, uh, Batman and Catwoman? Yes. <laughs> a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Uh, Because, you know, these characters mean so much to so many people and, and to us as well, you know, I think when you're playing a character who you've grown up loving, it's, you know, you don't want to let the fans down, you don't want to let yourself down, you don't want to let the legacy of the, the these characters down, you know, so it is a big responsibility. Yeah, and I think everybody feels it as well. It's kind of nice. Like, uh, everybody has opinions about every single Batman movie that comes out, and so the entire cast, no one's really phoning it in or anything. Everyone knows that they're kind of... It's a like, big deal. It's a big deal. <laughs> it's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you describe me uh, about uh, Batman and Catwoman relationship? I think in this movie, it kind of love and hate relationship. Is it right? Yeah, I don't even know if it's love and hate, but I think it is, it's complex and I think that we push each other's buttons and I think that, you know, the relationship really starts because we need something from each other, we need information from each other, and then I think we, um, you know, really find uh, a, an actual connection there, which I think is really complicated and scary for both of our characters, and I think that's really where the push and pull comes from. It's from, not from, I hate this person, I love this person, but more from two people who really don't know how to have these kinds of connections. Okay. I heard uh, that you try to copy martial arts from Indonesian movies. So is yeah, it true? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, we we I did some salat training and uh, mm -hmm. oh, what's the knife thing? It's like es oh, karambi. It's, it's a one with knives, like eskrit. Oh God, I can't remember what it's called. It begins with an e. <laughs> um, but. Uh, It, yeah, it was all with knives, but the salat, I loved salat. Like, it's kind of, I'd never even, I hadn't done, I'd never done anything like that before. But it's a fun martial art, and it's, uh, and just so vicious. Like, it's so <laughs> vicious. <laughs> like, but, uh, and it looks different, the moves feel different to kind of, uh, it's, and it, it kind of felt really right for Batman as well, to kind of, if you're doing a lot of street fights, like, it's, you know, you're not doing a martial art which is used as a sport. I mean, it's a lot, it just really feels specifically designed for street fighting. Um, and it felt, yeah, really, really good. So, uh, can you describe me to, uh, uh, this Bruce Wayne is very, very different. So, how can you develop this uh, character from your side? Um, I mean, <laughs> It was quite striking how different it was just from the first time I read the script. I mean, they've taken, you know, everybody, when you first think about Bruce Wayne, you think he's Batman and he's like a playboy. Like, and the first time I read the script, I'm like, oh wow, he's not, a, he's not a playboy at all. I mean, it's kind of, it's a big departure from the rest of the, the movies. And, uh, and he's normally so confident and so uh, in control of himself. And this, he's kind of, He doesn't really, he hasn't got control of Batman, he hasn't got control of himself as Bruce, and he hasn't got control of his emotions. I mean, he's kind of, he's trying to kind of keep the torment from, to keep the torment inside his head it's kind of suppressed, but it's constantly wanting to um, uh, uh, kind of express itself all the time. Um, And it just felt different. It felt like a little, it, it, there's a kind of wildness to it, which I kind of thought was fun. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank Robin you. Zoe. Thanks a lot. Nice to meet you. Bye.